Good morning, good morning, good morning to you. Good morning, good morning, and how do you do? Good morning, friends. Welcome to Circle Today. I'm so glad that you're here to join me. I'm Rachel, and I love having Circle with you. So I'm so glad we're all back together again today. You know, we really like to do breathing exercises before we start circle, don't we? Let's do our suit breathing exercise today. Today's a little bit chilly here in Black Mountain, so when it's a little cool outside, I like a nice warm bowl of soup. I'm going to get my soup now. And I think today I have, um, oh, lobster bisque. Lobster bisque is one of my favorite kinds of soup. What kind of soup do you have? Okay, let's go ahead and we can smell our soup by breathing in through our nose and then we will blow on our soup to cool it down. Ready? Breathe in through your nose and smell your soup. Now blow your soup to cool it down. I feel ready for circle time, how about you? Okay, let's go ahead and sing our months of the year song, ready? January, February, March and April, May, June, July and August, September, October, November, December, those are the months of the year. Today is Wednesday, March 25th, 2020. And um, so we can go ahead and sing our Days of the Week song. And when we sing Wednesday, we'll do this because today is Wednesday. Ready? Days of the Week. 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 There's Sunday and there's Monday. There's Tuesday and there's Wednesday. There's Thursday and there's Friday. And then there's Saturday. Days of the week. 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 Well, today on this Wednesday, it's another cloudy day here and I think it's going to start to rain again soon. I remember I told you yesterday that I have some little plants that are waiting to go into my garden and that I'm happy about that rain because those little plants needed some water. I don't think I told you why the plants are waiting to go into the garden. So I wanted to tell you about that today. The reason that my plants not in the soil in my garden yet is because we are still building a garden box. We are, raised, we are building what's called a raised garden bed and we are using wood and some other supplies, some other tools that people use for building. Do you know what tools people use for building? Well, one of the tools that we're using is called a hammer. And I brought my hammer to show you today. This is my hammer for home. At school, I have a very small hammer and at home, I have a large hammer. Did you know that a hammer has different names for the parts of it? It does, it has different names. The hammer has an eye. 
Just like we have eyes, where is your eye? Mine's here. The hammer's eye is at the front of it. It's the circular part on the front that we use to ha hammer the nail into the wood. That's called the hammer's eye. The hammer also has a cheek. Where's your cheek? Here's mine. The side of the hammer is called the hammer's cheek. That's the cheek. And the hammer has a head and the very top of the hammer is the head. And right between the head and the eye is a little curved part right here. And that is called the hammer's neck. Just like we have a neck, that's the hammer's neck. The hammer has a handle and at the bottom of a handle, of the handle on this hammer, there's a little bumpy part. It's a little bumpy texture and that's the part where I put my hand and it's called the grip of the hammer. So those are some of the names of the parts of the hammer. There are even more I could tell you about, but I thought I would just tell you about a few today. Hmm, I was wondering, would you like to see how I can nail in a nail with my hammer? I thought you might like to see that, so I brought a piece of wood from where I've been building my garden bed and I brought some nails and I thought maybe you could see how I can hammer in a nail. I'll hold my hammer on the grip right down at the bottom. Now I have to hold on to this nail tightly in my fingers so that I can make sure the nail goes into the wood securely before I let go. So I have to really aim carefully. That nail is in the wood securely now, so now I can let go and finish hammering. hammer a little harder when my fingers aren't there anymore. It went all the way into the wood. I wonder if you have a hammer at your house. If you have some nails and some wood, I wonder if you could talk to the adult at your house with you and see about maybe doing a little hammering yourself. That might be a fun thing for you to do today. Hmm, I am thinking of a song that I know about a hammer. It's called Bling Blang. Some of you, if you're in my class, know this song and you can sing it with me. And if you don't know this song, you can listen and learn. This is how we pretend that we have a hammer in our hand when we sing this song. <sighs> bling, bling, hammer with my hammer. Zingo, zango, cutting with my saw. Bling, bling, hammer with my hammer. Zingo, zango, cutting with my saw. You get the hammer and I'll get the nail. You catch a bird and I'll catch a snail. You get the wood and I'll get the saw. We'll build a house for the baby, oh. Bling, bling, hammer with my hammer. Zingo, zango, cutting with my saw. Bling, bling, hammer with my hammer. Zingo, zango, cutting with my saw. I really like that song. It's a fun song about building things. That one makes me feel happy. 
I bet you're ready to move a little bit. Are you ready to move your body? Okay, let's get ready for our moving game. You can stand up nice and tall and straight. You can reach your arms up to the ceiling and put them right back down by your body. And now we're going to play a game of animal movements. So I'm going to sing a little song. And when I sing the song, you're going to do what I say. It's kind of another listen and do game, but it's with animal movements this time. Okay, ready? You ready to listen? Okay. Children, children, hop like a rabbit, hop like a rabbit, hop like a rabbit. Children, children, hop like a rabbit. Now jump up and down. How was that? Did you hop like a rabbit? Okay, let's do another one. Hmm. What can I have you do this time? Oh, I know. Children, children, fly like a wren, fly like a wren, fly like a wren. Children, children, fly like a wren. Now jump up and down. Did you fly like a wren? Did you remember that a wren is a type of bird? It's a little songbird. Let's do one more. I have the perfect one. Ready? Children, children, crawl like a sloth. Crawl like a sloth. Crawl like a sloth. Children, children, crawl like a sloth. Now sit back down. Did you move slowly when I sang about the sloth? Sloths are super slow, aren't they? Mm -hmm. You know, I remember yesterday we sang that dandelion song and it was so much fun. I wondered if you might want to sing it with me again today. Do you like to sing dandelion? Okay, ready? Dandy, 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 dandelion. There's something oh so dandy about you. Doodly, doodly, do. Dandy, 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 dandelion. I wish that there were more of you. Do, do. That's a fun, short little song. I like to sing that one. So it's time to say goodbye, friends. And I thought um, for my goodbye song today, I would like to sing a song called Love Somebody to You because that's something I say before I say goodbye to people I love. I say, I love you. And guess what? I love you. And now I'm going to tell you goodbye with the song Love Somebody. Maybe you can make your arms do the same thing that my arms are doing while I sing it. Love somebody, yes I do. Love somebody, yes I do. Love somebody, yes I do. Love somebody and it's you. Goodbye.